Hey man, can we talk? Yes, yes, of course. Do you talk to Scarlett at all? No, no. We don't talk at all, actually. Ah, bummer. Are you worried about something, my friend? No, but I just can't tell if she digs me or not. One minute she's flirting with me, the next, we're barely looking at each other. Well, I think you should tell her how you are feeling. So, you want me to look like an idiot? Got it. No. You're thinking of this all wrong. You being honest lets her know she can trust you. So I say you tell her how you feel. Okay, let's make a deal. You talk to Cecilia and I talk to Scarlett. How about that? Wait, wait, I thought this was about you. Well, can't give advice if you don't take your own. <sighs> well, I guess you're right. Fine, I will. But if this goes bad, it's on you. Stefan for sure caught me off guard with the whole talk to Cecilia thing. I was not expecting that on my list of things to do today but I am up for it and I think Stefan makes a great alliance so the closer I keep him the better my chances at these challenges girl come and look at this dress yes this is the one now all you need are cute heels and boom you're a bad bitch thanks girl I was thinking white heels or maybe black but anyways have you talked to Amir not yet but I will soon swear I don't know why Cecilia thinks she has all this time. She doesn't know if she's going home today or tomorrow. And she always stresses about how she wants Amir. It's day two and no conversation at all with him. One of the other girls might grab him. You better hurry up. Girl, I'm not worried. He wouldn't pass up on a baddie like me. Audra definitely worries way too much. Or maybe I should care a little more. I don't know, but anyways, Amir is mine regardless. Yes, we know, but I'm just saying, the competition's getting heavy and- Look, how about I talk to him now and you talk to Maddie? Uh, I guess, but after tonight's competition. Okay, I'll take it, but bitch, you better do it. I'm happy you agreed to chat with me. Well, I've been wanting to chat a while with you. Really? Why have you never said anything? I guess the timing just seemed never right, you know? Well, I'm happy you decided you wanted to talk. Amir is definitely so hot. He's giving me, like, daddy vibes. And the accent. So sexy. Yes, me as well. But a girl like you, very intimidating. Really? That's the first I've heard that. It's definitely a compliment. It means you are so beautiful that others get nervous around you. You are literally so sweet. Let's chat over here. I hope I did not offend her. I just meant, like, she's so beautiful anyone would be scared to just go up and talk to her, you know? I just hope I didn't make myself look like a fool. Look at them! Ugh. Don't pay attention to them. Stress brings wrinkles. How can I not? They're literally right in my face. And the fucked up part is, she knows I liked him first. Calm down, girl. You're going to make a scene and then she will know you're bothered. Bothered? I'm not bothered. Okay, look, the more she sees you reacting like this, 
the more she knows she's gotten to you. Don't give her that leverage is all I'm saying. I'm super pissed. This knew I was planning on talking to Amir, and what do you know? There she goes talking and flirting with him. Ugh, I thought we were cool, but turns out she's as fake as... Wow, things look heated over there. Yeah, it does. I hope they are okay. I'm totally going to get her eliminated tonight. She will get a taste of her own medicine. If that's what you feel is best, but that will only make Amir upset. Well, I guess you're right. I just think it's so unfair when I made it known to everyone that I liked him. I think it's a bit weird that she's this mad over a guy she hasn't even talked to yet. I mean, I get it if you guys have been talking and flirting around, but they haven't. And plus, Amir is hot, but not that hot. I know, but look, the best way to win him over is being sweet as pie and honest with your feelings. That will take you a long way. Are you like a therapist or something? Huh, no silly. I'm just very familiar in the relationship department. But anyways, let's get ready for tonight's competition. I don't plan on going home tonight, and neither are you. Yeah, no way, and especially not before that bitch does. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel, I Sim For You. It's your girl, Ania K, and I am bringing to y'all episode two of The Challenge House. So we are here on day two, and as y'all saw in the beginning, we had a little bit of drama between uh, Mr. Amir, Leigh, and Cecilia, okay? So it's a little bit tea, a little bit of tea, and the tea is teeing, okay? The tea is teeing. So we have our challenge today, which will be the beachcombing challenge. Um, we will have girls versus boys or whatever. Every man for themselves, pretty much. Whoever finds the most expensive item during this beach combing competition out of the girl, girls and boys will win their own little date or their own special getaway. So I'm super excited um, because it's going to be a really tough challenge. And of course, whoever finds the least expensive item will be eliminated. So I am super excited. Um, side note, I hope you guys enjoyed my little machinima. Okay. I am not the best at that because I've never done this stuff before. So I am, you know, trying something new, stepping outside of the box. So not too much on me. Okay. Y'all be nice in the comments. Okay. Period. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like it brings a little bit more life to the gameplay. So I am definitely looking forward to doing that in so many more of my LPs. Anyways, um, we are, I guess they're going to go ahead and eat. We're going to be getting ready for the competition here shortly. And I am excited to see, you know, what is going to go on. Um, so it looks like Audra and Stefan are having a little conversation. I wonder if Stefan ever talked to Scarlett like he said he was going to. Um, I see that they're swimming together, but maybe we should make that happen as, you know, he did tell Amir he was going to. So we could go ahead and give her a little bit of a compliment. And we'll see how that works out. What's going on with my man? He's bored. I'm sorry. Why don't you go ahead and play you some games? Or, you know, practice hoops. But I guess we're going to be starting the competition here soon. So, I mean, it really doesn't make a difference. Oh. You all right? <laughs> Um, he's going to go use the bathroom. Did Stefan talk to Scarlett? Oh, he is. Look, Amir's right there to witness it. Look, he's splashing him. He's trying to embarrass him. Be like, bro, look at you, bro. Oh, this is so great. Go ahead and tell her a little bit of an engaging story. Look at our girl over here sitting alone. Do you guys want to talk to Audra as well? Audra, maybe have a conversation with Scarlett. Give her a little bit of a vibe check. I'm just going to join the conversation. So we're going to be starting our competition here. Um, actually, now, since the sun is setting, uh, we are going to go ahead and head over to uh, which beach is going to be big enough for everybody to. I guess we'll all head over here. And we'll do a little bit of a beach combing activity. So I'm going to add everybody to a group. We're going to form this group and um, we're going to all head out to the beach. 
I am super excited. Oh, hold on, y'all. One second. Okay, so we're going to have everybody gather here together. And we're going to get started with this little competition. So I am excited because... I wonder who's going to be going home. <laughs> um, Amir is stuck. So we're going to reset him, I guess. Um, there we go. And then we'll just go ahead and boost his bladder. So everybody is here at the beach. And we are about to prepare for um, this competition. Amir, where are you going? Come back. Uh, we are about to prepare for this little competition. So we're going to have everybody um, pretty much just separate and start beach combing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and beach comb seashells together. And again, whoever finds the most expensive shell out of the boys and girls, one boy will be picked. One girl will be picked and they will get a prize date or be able to go and do some sort of an adventure together. Um, oh, geez. Um, sorry, I got wicked whims in my game again. And, you know, things just get a little bit crazy. Um, can you go ahead and beach comb? Let's keep beach combing, guys. All right. So everybody's going to beach comb. I think that it said that Audra found something. Okay. Audra and Amir, they found something. Um, she found. Okay. We'll look through everybody's stuff here in a moment. We'll look through everybody's stuff. Round one of our beach combing. Who's going to win the first round? Um, okay, sure. So we have Amir that found something. Scarlet found something. Audra found something. Cecilia still did not find anything yet. Can we beach comb? Find you some seashells, girl. Stefan, you need to go ahead and find you some seashells. Um, who else didn't find none? Lay, you need to go ahead and find you something. Maddie, he still needs to find him some seashells. Okay, okay, Stefan found something. He's good to go. Scarlet found something again. We're just going to do one of Scarlet's items. I kind of want to have her stop doing that and just come sit. The people who have found seashells or something on the beach, we're just going to have them come and sit. Um, Cecilia did find something so she can come and sit. Um, Stefan found something. He can come and sit. Um, Audra found something as well. She can come and sit down. Um, Lay, girl, did you find anything? Okay, Lay did find something. I think everybody found something except Maddie. I think Maddie's the only one that did not find anything. Maddie, I hope you find something, brother, because, uh, Audra been wanting to talk to you. And he wants to talk to Audra. <laughs> Um, okay, Audra's going to go sit down. Maddie's still searching for his seashells or whatever he finds. He's the last one. Did he still not find anything? Like, come on, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. You've got to find something. Like, let's go. You've got to find something, dude. Scarlet girl, come and sit down, girl. What is happening? He refuses to find stuff. Oh, is he still looking? Yes, yeah, still keep searching, keep searching. Oh. 
from beachcombing. He has a fear of beachcombing. He better get out of here. Girl, what is going on over here? Oh, okay. She's going to grab her something to eat. Um, Come on, dude. Okay, so Maddie found something, I guess. We'll just say this is what he found. So let's tally up and see who found the most expensive thing for round one. Um, Maddie found some chips, some spoiled chips. That is not worth anything, so he automatically lost <laughs> this round. Um, let's see. She found a $10 scallop shell. Um, what did he find? Ooh, 200 and $205 for this heart of Sulani. Okay. So far, Amir's in the lead. Um, our girl found some roasted chicken, so she did not win this round. Um, she found a doll, I think. Oh, that's worth 115. So Audra's second place so far. Um, Scarlett found that for $20 and then. Lay found this for $34, so she came in third place. So what we're going to do is, um, since these are basically, okay, so basically Amir, Audra, and Lay have won this round, okay? So they don't have to compete again because they won. So we can go ahead and get rid of her fish. Of course, this. And then her little toy, this little toy thing. Okay, so Audra, Amir, and Leigh are out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and beachcomb some shells together. We're going to start round two. We're going to go ahead and see who's going to win this round over here. Fingers crossed to our winners. Let's see. Uh, let me clear this post. Okay, Maddie found something. Great. Go ahead and sit. Stefan also found something. He can go ahead and sit. Oh, and Cecilia found something. Great. They all found something. Okay, perfect. Scarlet, girl, you need to go come over here and beach comb. I think I forgot to add her to the group. But yeah, she needs to come in Beachcomb. Okay, Scarlet just needs to find something. So out of the boys so far, Amir has come in first place. Um, for the most expensive thing. So out of the boys. So far, Amir is winning. Come on, girl. She's still in it. Find nothing. Come on. Come beach comb. Keep on beach combing. You got this, girl. You're going to find something. Uh, Maddie, you don't need to... Scarlet just needs to come on. Come on, Scarlet. You got this. You gonna find something. Scarlet, come on, girl. Find something, please. Just keep on beach combing everywhere. Keep on beach combing, girl. Keep beach combing. Girl, you're going to have us doing this all night. Okay, finally she found something. Okay, so let's see. Round two. Who won this round? Um, Scarlet, we could start with you. Okay, she found the scallop shell for $15. Cecilia found this moon snail for $90. Um, he found the scallop for 10 and Maddie found this $200 for this shell. Wow. So Maddie, 
and Amir, but Maddie still is winning. He Maddie uh, found something for two hundred five dollars. Um, Maddie came in, or Amir, Amir found something for $205. Maddie came second with this $200 shell. Um, and let's see, Audra. Okay, so she's out. Maddie's in. Cecilia, okay, so she won this round. So she can sit. So now it's between Stefan and Scarlett. So what a coincidence because they were the two that um, liked each other. So what a coincidence that they're in the final together. So it's between them two of who's going to be going home. Oh, my gosh. No. Okay. Um. So we've got a former group with Scarlett and you've got to come over here and beach comb together. Oh, I feel so horrible. It's between it's between Scarlett and Stefan. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, girl, go ahead and get your beach comb on. Stefan's making his way over here. Um, keep beach coming. Keep beach coming. Okay, she found something. What did she find? A moon snail? $80. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, keep beach coming, dude. Keep beach coming. What's, go what's going on? Touch something painful. Um, yes, keep doing your thing. Scarlet, you don't have to beach comb anymore. You're good. Go ahead and beach comb over here. Beach comb, beach comb. Come on, Stefan, don't be the one to go home. You better find something expensive. You better find something expensive. Come on. You got this, Stefan. You got this. You got this. Oops. Sorry, Scarlet girl, not you girl. You got to find something, brother. Come on. Come over here. Let's go over here in this direction. Maybe you'll find something here. Still nothing? Over here? We gotta find something. What's going on? Got popped. Come on, dude. I know you're tired, but you don't wanna lose. This is your this is it for you. Come on, dude. This is it for you. Finally. Finally, he's found something. Okay, so it is between Scarlett and my man, Stefan. Um, it's between them two. Not her going to bed. Girl, teleport here. Come and teleport, sis. Okay, so it's between these two. All right, so she found a moon snail. So this is worth $80. Okay, and he found a scallop shell. Oh, no. Stefan's going home, and he never even got a chance to really talk with... um. Scarlet, but it looks like Stefan is getting eliminated, y'all. So he is the second person to be out on day two of the challenge house. Um, that's kind of sad. Like, dang, Stefan, you about to like be gone out of here? Like, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So Stefan um, has lost. He is going to be leaving the challenge house, unfortunately. 
Um, the girls are up. The men kind of suck, you know, they kind of suck. But um, anyways, out of the boys and girls who found the most expensive things. So obviously, Audra found the most expensive thing with her toy that she found for $115. And obviously, Amir won on the guy's side with finding um, a shell worth 200 or a necklace worth $205. So they will be winning for the next episode, a little activity trip together, something cool that they'll be able to do. And unfortunately, we will have to say goodbye to my man, Stefan. Um, he was awesome. He was a great competitor and he wore his heart on his sleeve and... I'm sure him and Scarlett will maybe link up after this. Hopefully, maybe, but we shall see. But anyways, farewell, Stefan. It was nice knowing you. We will probably never see you again. Or maybe we'll see him somewhere in the new LP. I don't know. But anyways, bye, Stefan. Oh, my gosh. He's leaving us. <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch him leave, y'all. And that is that he is off and there's no more Stefan. That's sad, actually. Like he was great. Um, and he was in our little machinima anyways. So we are now down to lay Scarlett, Audra, Cecilia, Amir and our guy Maddie. So obviously we know Audra and Amir have won the little prize and Stefan is now gone but I hope you guys enjoyed this part I thought it was so cool and so different I'm definitely going to take this LP a different route and I think this little machinima thing is what this will be um, and I think that will be super super cool and kind of add some realism to this so if you all enjoyed it if you like this part please go ahead and leave your comments down below and make sure you like this video don't forget to share this video and most importantly y'all do not forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next part bye guys I can't see.